Hey guys, Digital Lifestyle here, back with another video. I'm not going to repeat that again. <laughs> um, maybe I'm having a dyslexic moment for a moment, but it's not what it is. It's, um, right, how do I want to explain this one? What you see here is Gaza's fleet Israel warns 1.1 million to leave. 101 million to leave from north and go to the south. Right, then you have US tele intelligence below that of potential for Gaza clash in days before the attack. Right, this is the second time. Now I've, and I spoke about this, I think it was yesterday, um, in a video whereby this, to me, seems planned. And it's an event that is, is being used to orchestrate something else further along the line. I don't know what it is, none of us do, but what I will say in, in this as well, there's this guy who, um, he's called uh, Gematria um, Effects, and um, he's more focused on sports. Um, and talk, he talks about, and some people may find this very strange, he talks about rituals and how they use biblical text and biblical references to enact certain things. Now that may be controversial to some, and I get that. Some may think, oh well, he's talking rubbish, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But maybe you want to have an open mind and look at what he's saying before one criticizes. And I feel in this world, what we do is criticize before we actually listen. We don't listen, we have force fed something and then we are then um, made biased against certain things by how the media push things in our face and how they talk about stuff and they warn us about stuff as well and they do do that, they have to because it's part of their remit or remit shall I say, to do that um, Sports is another thing that they've done since Roman times to pit people against each other race etc 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 religion etc etc has been used to perpetuate wars over time and this guy um Jumatria, um effect news i don't know what his name is um but he, he he provides information on what he thinks is what he's, he sees happening and the days and possible times that they like to happen um he has a youtube channel which I'm going to put a link into if you want to go watch it, that's up to you. But what I want to focus is on, on, on this US, USA uh, intelligence um, and um, the links to that and what they're saying here in this video. Okay, I'm going to play it to you now. Uh, so, yeah, let's get that started. What do you make of this, this new information about US intelligence warning uh, that something... Uh, may be happening some uptick not too specific what do you sh should it have been caught should that have raised more alarms it's it's very interesting i'm not surprised that we had some type of intelligence at that level um i am a little surprised that uh, there weren't there wasn't more preparation taking taken on the israeli end if you will to uh you know heighten the security level along the fence line the border line between israel and gaza um i, I think there have been two failures if you look at the situation now, one has been the intelligence failure, but the second one is the, a military readiness failure to, um, to to step up patrol surveillance or whatnot along the uh, uh, along the border. So that look that there'll be time for that later, but that's kind of what jumps to my mind when we talk about this. Yeah, and as you said, I mean, time for that later. But but Cena did do a, a report. Just our clerical board was looking at. Um, what the Hamas, the training videos they were putting out, and we've geolocated a site that they built, uh, which mirrored a, a Israeli settler community that they were doing training on that was very close to one of the major boarding crossings and was visible from the air. Um, it's remarkable that, that Israel did not pick up any real signs of this operation, which was clearly plan for a very long period of time involving many, many different people. Yeah, that was a very interesting report. And, and I read it with some curi a good deal of curiosity that it would go back that far. And it was 
should have been visible. Uh, like I said, I think there will be time later. They'll go back and really dig into this. I think the immediate question, though, when you look at these pieces of information that uh, should have been assessed, is clearly there was a blind spot. Blind spot. And as you go into this next phase, where you're looking at a military incursion into Gaza and maybe some other things, I do think you want to make a quick check to make sure that those blind spots are no longer there. And so I think there is a need for an immediate assessment as to what happened and why. And then you can dig later, kind of pull each and every thread later. But that would be my concern is what what didn't we see over the past year and why didn't we see it? And have we rectified that before we step into these next phases of the operation? Look, at the end of the day, these people plan these events, yeah? Everything's done by numbers in this world. Nothing is by accident, yeah? They use biblical text, etc., etc., to pull a narrative, as we can see. They've, they've done everything in their, in their book at the moment, and, and there are things to come further along the line. I'm going to go back to Jamal's reviews. to give up our rights and liberties and they tell us to submit to a surveillance state and they tell us to stay in our homes and give up our jobs and our way of life and look at what it does to us think about all the young children growing up right now with all the fear the non-stop fear constantly being blamed on false threats whether it's a boogeyman in the cave or supposedly some deadly germs and with regards to those deadly germs, please look into this fact. In 1968, coronavirus was coined. In 1968, you had the first case of HIV. You've heard how COVID and HIV have intertwined in a variety of headlines in the last two years. Also in 1968, the FDA approved fentanyl, one of the biggest problems in this country right now. I'm sure there's a bunch of people in earshot who know someone who's suffering from fentanyl and addiction. After 9-11, we got rid of the Taliban in Afghanistan. The Taliban did not want poppy plants and opium in their country. We killed the Taliban, and we brought back the poppy and opium production, and now the world is flooded with heroin and fentanyl, and Big Pharma is making the biggest profits they ever have. All over the streets, people are addicted to not only heroin, they're addicted to things like Percocet 30s. And Big Pharma is gloating about how much money, how many record profits there are right now. You guys think about this. The Bible, Genesis 11.9. Genesis 11.9, if you're not familiar, is where the Tower of Babel, the story ends. The Tower of Babel, the tower that divides the world, it ends in Genesis 11.9. The majority of the world writes the date, September 11th, 11-9. And stop me if you've heard this one before, but from the day that Obama took office to the day that Osama was killed was exactly 119 weeks, 1-1-9. And they said Osama was killed in Pakistan. Please look up the founder of Pakistan. He was killed on September 11th. Go figure. There's also something known as the 9-11 of Chile where the CIA went in and overthrew their leader. That also happened on September 11th. That was our CIA. Speaking of the CIA, George Herbert Walker Bush, not to be confused with George Walker Bush, who was the president when 9-11 happened, he was the 11th director of the CIA. George H.W. Bush, the 11th director of the CIA on September 11th, 1990, 11 years to the day of the attack, he gave a speech about a new world order, a world freer of terrorism. And we all know what happened 11 years later. Again, New York, the 11th state, the buildings that look like an 11, that came down after flight AA-11. 11 is the master number in numerology. You might think numerology is stupid. You might think astrology is stupid. You might think that's old world fashion stuff. I wouldn't necessarily disagree with you, but the people who rule over us, it's very important to them. They use it every single day. And again, notice the number 119. If you don't know how numerology works, you just add a bigger number 
until you can press it to either a single digit or the number 11 or 22. 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 11. Before 9-11, one of the biggest tragedies in this nation's history was JFK. He was killed on 11-22. 11 is the master number, 22 is the master builder number. And here we are in 2022, trying to undo what this corrupt ball does to us every single day, using this occult knowledge to torment us. Now, if you've never heard this word before, please look it up. Jamatria. G E M. A-T-R-I-A. The word gematria is a biblical practice. It is the practice of coding numbers into words. And the reason you must know this practice is because it reveals what's really being done. Again, I just told you that from when Obama took office to when Osama was killed was exactly a span of 119 weeks. And again, he was killed in Pakistan. Or, yeah, he was killed in Pakistan, Osama, so they tell us. But again, the founder of Pakistan was also killed on September 11th. Right now in Pakistan, they are underwater. And in astrological terms, people might blame Poseidon for the current flooding of Pakistan. The old world would say, oh, that's Poseidon that's done that. Well, are you aware that on the World Trade Center was the trident of Poseidon? You can go down to the museum right now and they have an exhibit called Trident Strong. You guys, the trident is the spear of Poseidon. In Gematria, Poseidon equals 119. Osama bin Laden was killed in Operation Neptune Spear. Operation Neptune Spear. Neptune is Poseidon in astrology. You guys, numerology and astrology are very important to the people who govern over us. It's old world occult knowledge that's always been shared and held by the ruling elite. Nothing has changed from the time of Babylon to right now. This is new Babylon. And again, if you learn this knowledge, you will see through what's going on every single day. That is not an exaggeration. Just as it's so current, you guys, I want you to think about this one too. We just heard about the death of Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth just died exactly 911 days after the pandemic was declared. The pandemic was declared March 11th, 2020. She died September 8th, 911 days later. Of course, Corona means crown. She wore the crown. Now she's been replaced by her son, King Charles. If you got a question for us, come talk to us so you don't gotta yell at us and walk by. We're, we're happy to answer your questions. Yeah, it takes courage to come confront somebody face to face instead of screaming at them from a mile away. But anyhow, you guys, here, here's something I really want you to look into. I want you to understand why there were two towers that became zero, that became one. It's the same reason that right before coronavirus, the same people who are now profiting from the pandemic had something called event. Two, zero, one. If you don't know about this, please look it up. You all got your smartphones in your pocket. Type in event two, zero, one. You will see it took place October 18th, 2019. It was a simulation of a coronavirus pandemic put on on the exact same day the military world games began in Wuhan, China. That's a major coincidence. And some of us use that word way too much to dismiss what's really going on. Like these ladies walking by looking and laughing. Anyhow, event 201 was the coronavirus simulation. Again, Queen Elizabeth just died on September 8th. You might recall earlier this year, Charles had COVID, and then they said the Queen caught COVID shortly after. Well, from the day that the Queen caught COVID to the day that she died was exactly 201 days later. And again, exactly 911 days after the pandemic was declared. On 9-11, two towers became zero before they became one. I'll tell you something else, another big 2-0-1 in history, because it's another hot topic right now. Five years before the World Trade Center was opened on April 4th, 1973, there was a major tragedy in this nation. April 4th, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. And exactly 201 days later, this nation had its first gun control laws. 
This is going on all throughout history, guys. These same patterns, creating major tragedies, and then taking away our rights and liberties, and blaming it on boogeymen, patsies, people who aren't really responsible for the crimes. Again, you guys, there's that phrase from the Bible. My people suffer from lack of knowledge. I thank all the people who brought by and didn't stop to listen for a moment, but those people have been few and far between. For all of you guys who just walked by as we talk about the truth and the biggest lie that's resulted in the deaths of millions of people, understand you are part of the problem. All of you guys who just believe what the authority tells you day after day, I want you to think about that word, believe. Spell it out. Spell out the word, believe. How do we spell it? It has a bizarre spelling. B-E-L-I-E. Lie. B-E. -E. Be the lie. How many of us are being a part of the lie? How many of us don't care about the lie? You guys, this is why we continue to be tormented and harassed by the ruling class psychopaths who govern over us. The problem with this world is we've been raised. Well, think about it, you guys. How many of you really wanted to be in that classroom, sitting there at your desk, getting those mostly meaningless lessons while you were told you were so free? You know what, right? I'm going to stop it there for a bit. <laughs> He's saying some stuff that I have always kind of like wanted to say I never wanted to be in school I hated that place I absolutely hated being in that place it did not make sense to me one little piece I'll be honest with you right the other thing is like television like he said believe be live or believe in the lie it's like tell I vision tell lies to my vision or tell lies to I vision to your vision to my vision tell lies to my vision tell lies do you know what I mean do you understand where he's breaking it down we are living in this world where they use rituals they use spells they use kind of, kind of uh, connotations if you will um, death sacrifice um, rape pillaging killing all those all those nasty things to eventually put us into some place and this is where we are being led down the line of what the, they want to perpetuate in the bible that may not be a lie but they want to speed it up this is what i think if you're if you if you're of that elk they're trying to speed up narrative they want to put people in cages before they could be possibly freed you never know. I don't know. I don't know what the outcome of what they're trying to do is. But I like, and I, 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 I do um, understand, and I, I know some people are going to think I, I'm probably cuckoo or, or whatever. And I, do you know what? I don't care. I really don't. I noticed some com comments earlier on in, in, in what I said about the UVs and stuff. Yes, there has been there have been EVs that have blown up, and uh, and the truth has come out about that, right? I may get it wrong. I am not perfect. I am infallible. Just like, I'm not infallible. I am not infallible. And, do you know what I mean? Come on. I, every person makes mistakes. What are yours? You need to ask yourself that. What are yours? Don't you make mistakes? You know, uh, uh, this is part of the problem in this world right now too much division instead of saying look guy you know what I mean and like the guy you know who, who pointed it out and I admitted that I got it wrong at least I can do that can you did you take my start out I will leave a, a link in the description below so you can do a go and for yourself and look at this guy and remember I am dyslexic so I will get stuff wrong and I will get stuff right but I am not perfect When we as individuals start looking past, if you like, the programming that's been taking place um, and um, 
all the negative actions on the world stage, the poverty that's been um, enacted on people, the levels of control that they have enacted on us, not allowing us, if you will, to be speak f to speak freely and have a voice or have choice in anything, you have to wonder. And you also have to wonder, what is the playbook here? Because clearly there is a plan. Is it a plan by numbers? Is it a plan by division? Is it a plan by making you feel inferior to somebody else? Or, you know, and that's happened in history and it's always happening in my view, right? Are we at a level of com consciousness that we can start looking past that that and then be better is the question you know do you want to be a better person do you want to be stuck in that narrative do you want to be so uh, biased that you can't open your eyes to different possibilities because part of the reason why we're in this this place right now is a religious war and far too many have too many negative narratives against others without having an open mind. Remember, we have to remember if we are to believe in the Bible as it is, God created us all equally. We are all equal in His sight. We are all free as well. We are all um, given choice so shouldn't if 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 say a country wants to uh, uh, I don't even want to go there with that but what I want to go there there is to say is look as an individual don't you have a choice as a human being do you not have the right to choose what you want it what is right for you that is the question. You know, ask yourself those questions. Do I need to be, have, have something stuck in me? Do I need to have my children not have, have a choice in what, what gender they choose to be? And does it have to be forced on should it be that you as a parent can say, I'm sorry, I don't like that. This is my child. Whose child is it? Is the question you need to ask. Because it seems like it's not your child, even though you bore this human being into or onto this planet. Ask yourself those questions.
the same day that the Twin Towers fell. Well, that's just a coincidence, Arthur. No. Jay-Z is the CEO of Rockefeller Records. The Twin Towers were made possible by the Rockefeller brothers, David Rockefeller and his brother Nelson Rockefeller, who was the governor in 1968. Remember that number, 1968. David Rockefeller, he brought the idea to the forefront, and his brother, who was the governor, he signed it into legislation in 1968. Now, why does that matter? Just think about it. The, the CEO of Rockefeller Records drops his album the same day that the Rockefeller buildings come down. Did you guys know that the Twin Towers had nicknames? They did. One was called David, and the other one was called Nelson after the Rockefeller Brothers. So literally, the Rockefellers came down and dropped the same day that the CEO of Rockefeller Records dropped the blueprint. And what does blueprint mean? Well, it's a design plan, and that's what 9-11 was. Oh, speaking of 9-11, what are the odds that 911 was made the emergency dining code in 1968? Remember 68? The name Sean Carter equals 68 in his language of Gematria. You guys know who died on the 68th day of the year in 1997? The notorious B.I.G. He was the biggest rapper out of Brooklyn. The biggest rapper. He was literally the king of New York. But then he died 213 days after his daughter's birthday in a drive-by shooting, which equals 213. Just like how Tupac died 213 days after his All Eyes On Me album came out on February 13th, a drive-by shooting and death on both 213. But that's a different story. Back to 68. LA 213 area code. Yes, he died in 213 area code, Biggie Smalls. Back to 68, so Biggie Smalls dies on the 68th day of the year. You guys remember his debut single, Juicy? He said he wants to get paid and blow up like the world trade. No more days. How did he know that? Because that song came out in 1994. But the Twin Towers fell in 2001. Wait, wait, that, that's just a coincidence though. Because I got a coincidence that Prince, he put out a song called Obama's Getting Ready to Bomb. Guys, I'm going to on YouTube. Prince. He put out a song called Osama is getting ready to bomb in 1999. That was what, two years before 9 11. How did he know? I gotta get back to New York. Gotta get ready for the bomb. Back to 68. George Bush graduated, graduated from Yale University in 1968. That same year, 9 was made the emergency starting call. That same year, the destruction began for the Twin Towers. Wow. You guys, remember what I said about 97, right? Jay Z became the biggest rapper in the year 97. You guys know who died at the age of 97? John Rockefeller, the grandfather of David and Nelson. Wow, another coincidence, man. How many does it take? You know, you guys want to know one more fun fact? 13 days, 13, remember that number, because the Illuminati loved that number. 13 days after his album came out on September 14, 2001. Jay-Z put out a freestyle. You guys want to guess what he called it? He called it 911. Letting people know that his album dropped the same day that the Twin Towers dropped, and people didn't even catch on. The CEO of Rockefeller Records. Man. Speaking of Jay-Z, think about it. He put out, he put out, he put out his biggest album on 9-11, the day that Osama supposedly brought the towers down. And then what did, what did he do seven years later? He put out a song called, My President is Black, and got Obama elected. What's the difference between the name Osama and Obama? No B -S. The letter B and S, like bullshit. Let's go, <laughs> that shit. Speaking of bullshit. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Because he swore. Okay, take care of yourself, guys. Do the lifestyle out. Like and subscribe. This is completely different content from what I'd normally do. But you know what? I like the fact that they talk on the numbers fact and the numbers are part of this world world which in which we live in. Remember this as well. We have we have uh, birth certificates, numbers, we have bank accounts, numbers, we have driving license numbers, we have all these numbers that are associated with us from the time we are born to the day we are put in the grave. 
and, and that could be on a number on the roaster. Anyway, do use that lifestyle out. Okay, it's not.